briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1980, the Supreme Court heard the case of Trammell v. United States, which focused on the issue of spousal privilege in criminal cases. Otis Trammell and his wife Elizabeth were involved in a conspiracy to import heroin. Elizabeth, an unindicted co-conspirator, agreed to cooperate with the government and testify against her husband. Otis attempted to block his wife's testimony by invoking spousal privilege, which traditionally prevented spouses from testifying against each other. The district court initially ruled in favor of Otis's claim, holding that confidential spousal communications were privileged and inadmissible. However, Elizabeth's testimony, limited to observations and conversations held in the presence of a third party, ultimately led to Otis's conviction. Upon appeal, the Supreme Court held that only the witness spouse could refuse to testify adversely and could not be compelled or prevented from testifying. This modification aimed to balance the interests of marital harmony with the needs of law enforcement. The court determined that the traditional concept of spousal privilege, which treated women as property, was outdated and unnecessary, as confidential marital communications were already protected under separate laws. The judgment of the Court of Appeals was affirmed, and the spousal privilege doctrine underwent significant change as a result. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.